All right, we should be live. Good evening, everybody. This is Miles Luigi, and indeed it appears that I am live. Right, uh, be... No feedback, Luku, please. Okay, good. No feedback, whoop. All right, so hopefully everybody's doing well tonight. Uh, this is going to be another, uh, uh, I guess, uh, shoot, what's the term I want to use here? ROM hack stream night, which is to say we're going to be doing a combination of both Luigi and the Island of Mystery, as well as some Mario 74 later tonight. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with some Luigi and the Island of Mystery. Uh, you would think that just knowing uh, that I've streamed from X quite a number of times in a while, you'd think I'd know where I'm going. Uh, I just had that moment of amnesia for a sec there, like, what directory was it again? In any case, uh, it is the SNES directory, and we need Z SNES, and then we need to load Luigi and the Island of Mystery, and then we need to get the stream to... Uh, actually go over to that display and ah uh, yes the window capture get that on screen here and then do form screen all right there we go and then make sure our controller is working make sure you guys can hear the audio should be all good to go <laughs> all that technical mumbo jumbo in the back end all right Things should be good. I did notice last stream when we did Thousand Year Door, the uh, co-coms, which we'll bring in the co-coms a little bit later tonight. Uh, we're a little silent, so I'm actually going to turn those up just a little bit. So That's a great question. This is Luigi and the Island of Mystery, so that is a question. We have 51 of the exits, and I could look at the page on uh, Super Mario World Central as to how many more exits the ROM hack did, but last time we went into the black hole! Uh, and the black hole took us to Junta Plateau. Also, last time Luigi exited due stage left and then had like a really <laughs> funny like exit out of the a stage. Uh, in any case, let's take a look here. It turned the black hole and it turned in the jungle plateau. And, and that black hole seems to not whiplash Luigi at all because he is just fine and in shape. So. Although, apparently he's now dead, so that's not so good. Let's try that again. Yeah, looking at her life, uh, looks like we're doing pretty well, or I'm not just sitting at the uh, edge of no life, although me just taking a hit there is a great start to things. Uh, we'll, we'll see how much more of that life count comes into play, because normally you do not have this many hits in Mario World, and this, uh, so far the life system has been either Miles Luigi just takes all the hits, and then has no life, and then starts playing like it's normal Mario World, or uh, this situation here, so... But yeah, uh, 2018's kicked in, and uh, I enjoyed my time off. Uh, both say work is now kicked into full force and uh, whatnot. And into this tunnel we go, and uh, now we're going to left. Oh boy, this is probably taking us back in the level. The question is, is it going to get us anything for doing this? Got some funky Crash Man music playing right now, too. Okay, but... Uh, yeah, I had an opportunity since we got that new smart TV, uh, which I mentioned last stream, uh, to connect to my Plex server at home, which before, I didn't really use it to watch movies. Its main purpose was to allow me to stream my music wherever I was. Uh, so, oh, nice, I died. Okay, I guess we'll try this section again. So yeah, I had a Plex server, but I mainly used it for my music. I didn't really use it for the movies that I had, although I did point it towards my movie collection. I didn't really pay attention to it. Uh, cue me getting a smart TV and then me wanting to start watching movies it's like okay cool we could start watching movies oh darn it I died again so that's what I did and then all of a sudden we realized that the Plex server was not uh, organizing media quite right and and then I'll explain my girlfriend and I I'm like oh look I have the original Dragon Ball why don't we start watching it and then the first episode kicks in it says it's like 40 some minutes long oh, Jesus Christ uh, do I have rewind set because this is getting ridiculous uh, I don't <laughs> anyway, we, I shortly realized we were not watching the first episode of Dragon Ball. We were watching the first movie of Dragon Ball, and I'm like, why did it do this? And then I learned my Plex server like had all my movies all messed up, and some movies I'm not categorized right, and some movies that I didn't have that it thought I had was actually like something else, and it was just like, what the fudge are you doing? I'm gonna hit that save state now. And it was just like, what the fudge, Plex? So I had to spend like an entire afternoon going through my media server and be like, no, I don't actually have that and correcting all the media. Just so the TV can understand what movies I have and what movies I don't have. Oh, jeez, really? I gotta wait for the platform? I lost my platform, didn't I? Yeah, I totally did. 
<laughs> this is a crummy secret. You come down here, the chances of death is so darn high, and you gotta fall around this platform, and then you have to keep the platform with you. But like, what in the world are we doing this for? Maybe this is the true mystery of the island right here, is the mysterious secret area. That's a fantastic gift, Charge Master. Hundred dollars for the Switch. But say, if you don't have yourself some Odyssey, go get Odyssey. Or whatever you want to spend that hundred dollars on. But that was part of my adventure on my quote-unquote week off, and we are still going, wow. And, and now we've reached back down to one hit here. I'm about to say, I'm not even going to like really bother, it's Bonobos. They, they come up so fast, they're usually very difficult to avoid unless you know the spots they come in at. And now fish are jumping about! Great! Ah, oh, jeez. Once again, you come down that pipe, it's like, oh cool, we're in this secret, and come on. And it's like, what now? Wow, th this Potobo is actually really well positioned. Uh, can I lead it? No, I can't lead it. Can I trail it? Okay, I can trail it. We'll, we'll trail it. Damn it! <laughs> Can't lead it. I can trail it right off the edge right away. Great. So, yeah, that was part of my uh, weekend adventures was going through all my media and uh, correcting it and whatnot and telling the Plex server, no, I don't have this movie because it identified some... It was usually like some trailer, like with one of my movies that I had that where the tra I also ripped the trailer uh, just because, hey, the trailer was part of the DVD and I had Handbrake, you know, rip both the movie and the trailer and whatever else that came with it and then it identified the trailer as something totally different and it was just like, why? So, that was a fun afternoon and uh, the server is now all set up correctly and good stuff. So, just in case you guys aren't aware, and oh my gosh, this damn ride is finally over. This is probably a secret exit, isn't it? 26 points. In case you guys are like totally in the dark as to what I'm talking about, Plex Media Server, it's like, what's, uh, jeez, I forgot the name of the old project, XDB something weird, <laughs> got changed into. It's a uh, open source media server. Oh, hey, Star Warp kind of dealy, and as of where I used it because I wanted to be able to uh, stream my music collection wherever I was. It was really good for being able to do that because you can connect to it through with a web browser and uh, bam, you're in. So, Also, I must have uh, totally restarted without hitting my save state because I noticed I'm back down to five lives, which I'll, I'll live with, but it was like, well, there went all my health meter. He <laughs> used it to get the secret exit. Hopefully I don't need it to get the normal exit. Um, but yeah, I would recommend looking into it. You do kind of need to run your own server, but I, I mean, uh, I guess if you're the kind of person like me who has a computer that runs as a server, it'd be a good thing to do. Uh, depending on whatever in the world your setup is at home. You could always get a Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how good Raspberry Pis would be at re-encoding the media, because that's one of the things the Plex Media Server can do. Uh, it can re-encode media for you as you stream it, so like you could stream a movie to your phone and it'll automatically re-encode it to a quality to where you don't kill your internet connection. Oh, damn it all. Damn it all! Ugh! So it's pretty useful for that, and I'm not sure how powerful or good the Raspberry Pi is doing at the re-encoding, but instead of just hosting the service and being the web server slash media server, it could probably do that. I'd have to look more into it. But I have a full-blown actual server, so... <laughs> Use a Raspberry Pi to run a movie. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I would have to look into how well it actually does it. But no, uh, My Miles Luigi, uh, in case you didn't notice all those file shares from one of the previous streams, uh, I, my file server, well, it's mainly used as a file server, and it's got six 3 terabyte hard drives all in a RAID 5. So, yeah. But Raspberry Pi is a wonderful platform since you brought up the idea of doing Pi coding. Uh, the idea is is that it's basically a computer, but it's like a really small computer. It's also a really inexpensive computer. So as a result, it can be used for really specialized applications and uh, be put in a lot of places. Uh, coding on it really isn't too much different than coding on an actual computer, because last I checked it's all Python. Um, but uh, I, I could be wrong. I haven't really looked too much into it. I do have a Raspberry Pi myself. 
Uh, for a time being, I was using the Raspberry Pi as an open VPN server because setting up an open VPN server is basically HELL SPAWN! Uh, but I... There, there's a bash script that makes it easy. <laughs> and I realized that I didn't need to run the bash script on the Raspberry Pi, uh, and that I could actually just uh, run the bash script on any regular server. Uh, so I stopped using that Raspberry Pi as a VPN server and instead set up a VM on the main server that's now running as the open VPN server after running that script. So. <laughs> so. But yeah, uh, for you gamer type people out there, which, well, if you're watching this, you're probably one of those people, uh, a Raspberry Pi can actually work as, like, a really good, uh, like, classic video game console, because uh, I do know there's a project out there called Retro Pi, uh, which basically is a, uh, it's basically an OS for your Raspberry Pi that has the emulators and stuff connected to it and set up all ready for you. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think it even runs RetroArch, which is what I would normally be running for ROM hacks, so it wasn't for a fact this ROM hack's like incompatible with RetroArch. Blockade! Uh, but basically, it's just an OS that's made to run the classic games. Uh, and it's something that I actually wanted to look into more with my Raspberry Pi. Jesus, oh my gosh, wow, this level just... Okay, I think Luigi and the Island of Mystery finally kicked... It's finally kicking in the difficulty setting, but it's like, we, we have to have a jump right here, and I didn't realize this isn't a spike. But it was, I was like, wait, 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 what? Okay. Alright, we have a, we do have a place we can go, so. But yeah, I, I can actually let you guys know, because that's something I want to do with my Raspberry Pi, is to get Retro Pi on it, and see how well it can run, so. <laughs> I guess, yeah, you could definitely say Luigi and Lana Luigi finally kicked in the damn difficulty. Oh, damn it all. So, I gotta be careful and not run off the edge here. There we go. Man, these spikes, I'm telling you, man, they're, they're wooden spikes that are all shallow and, like, soft on the edge, and yet I touch them and then I immediately get, like, a billion splinters and die. Ugh. Oh, I could understand that sentiment, Wayoshi. I mean, the Raspberry Pi is just, like, another computer. And the thing is, it's a relatively underpowered computer. But, I mean, it's like having another computer. Uh, so the question is, what would you use that for, so... <laughs> Thank you, Bajan Bacchus. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I actually... Like, near the end of the year, I actually wanted to get a video up kind of explaining the state of the YouTube channel, and just, I never got around to it. Admittedly, the Flex Media server thing caught too much more of my attention, so. <laughs> yes, your phone is a computer. Everything is a computer. Ah, uh, that is true. Uh, at this point, feel free to, like, re read everything that Richard Stallman wrote, uh, because, yes, the Raspberry Pi has the advantage of being... I'm actually kind of curious how open the hardware is, but in terms of the operating systems... Oh, oh damn it all! <laughs> uh, like, I do know, like, it's main, like, the Raspbian Pi, or whatever the operating system that's defaulted on it, is a form of Debian, and that's totally free and open, so... Not 100% on the p hardware, I'd have to double-check the hardware. But yeah, feel free to read all of Richard Stallman's rants about, like, freedom of software and whatnot, and uh, whatever cave he's currently living in, and whatever laptop he's using again. <laughs> so... Yeah, Miles Luigi likes the open source because it's, like, practical, and I don't have to pay a damn license play or way or worry about licensing. Uh, but when it comes to hardware, that, that's just not the reality of the market. I mean, broken systems, or broken systems. I mean, more specific, non-free systems, like the Nintendo Switch is technically non-free, uh, because you cannot install your own OS on a, a Nintendo Switch. Uh, without hacking it, I should say. Since last I checked, the Nintendo Switch has, like, some backdoor thanks to its NVIDIA chip. Which, I'm like, oh wow, uh, but evidently it's been patched, and since I keep my Switch up to date, uh, yeah. Well, not that I wanted to play around the Switch homebrew, given that the Switch hasn't been out for a year. I'm not even looking to see if it exists, and I can go on this paper, okay. Uh, just because Nintendo is really, like, anti, don't hack our systems and whatnot, so... But on that note, like I did mention, yeah, I have homebrew on my 3DS, and I found out what I need to look into is uh, looking into making my 3DS report it's a different version than it actually is. Because I haven't updated it, it still has the homebrew on it, 
And evidently I need to set it up to where it reports a different version so I can play uh, newer games even though the version itself actually hadn't updated. So I know what I need to look into, I just need to actually find a time to do that. And with all the other things on uh, my plates, that's gonna be a bit... Cooking with Miles Luigi! Uh, Miles Luigi... Uh, stupid spikes! Good lord! I'm... Ugh. It's... The thing is, these spikes look a lot... Well, they are basically looking like the spikes that go up and down. And, uh... Was it Wendy's Castle? Uh, the castle with the mud and, like, the pokey pencil spikes. It's what these spikes are. And, and um... Uh, just my brain's not telling me that the sides of them are dangerous, but they are! So, damn it all. Uh, in any case, yeah, uh, feel free to pick up a Raspberry Pi. The thing's like 35 bloody dollars. Uh, you probably want to get a case for it, because otherwise you literally just have a chip. Uh, and you probably want to protect that chip. So, <laughs> uh, and the cases you can get for it aren't too bad. So, I would recommend doing that. But otherwise, it's an inexpensive computer. Oh, damn it all. Okay, there we go. Alright, Charging Chuck. I'm probably going to want to keep you alive. Oh, do I need to take you through the obstacle course? Charging Chuck through the obstacle course, of course. That's what it looks like we have to do. Uh, no mushrooms, so... Ugh. I don't think Charging Chuck can make this jump, though. Hmm. Alright, I hit the save state. Any blocks up here? No. Oh, okay. No taking Charging Chuck back with us. It looks like he's not going to make that jump. It doesn't even look like he wants to make that jump. That Charging Chuck has a sense of what will cause him life and death, and I don't because I jumped into that damn spike. Oh, man. No, oh, man. Oh, Charge Master is best let's play yet. I would serve to try to say in terms of community building and fun I had doing the let's play, that'd probably go right to Thousand Year Door. So, and I guess a kind of sneak peek in terms of that whole state of the channel update is basically it was going to be, hey, guys, I plan on streaming. Uh, ooh, geez, okay, this platform. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to point out is that, like, Paper Mario co related content is not going to go away. And the next time that the uh, Glitz Split Challenge server was going to do community challenges, I was planning on participating in those community challenges. Uh, they're currently doing rounds through on uh, Thousand Year Door uh, and various challenges with that. Uh, and they're currently, like, they just finished Chapter 5 and they're going to do challenges for Chapter 6. Please don't tell me I had to get this piece switch all the way here. Oh, thank God. Uh, but when they... Last time they were going through community challenges, I think they are going through Paper Mario, and after they were done beating it, they started these Thousand Year Door challenges. So I'm thinking when they're done with these Thousand Year Door challenges, they're probably going to do some Paper Mario 64 challenges. And if I haven't done anything Paper Mario yet by then I was thinking about participating in uh, the community challenges and whatnot and that ought to be fun because like they're doing some silly things like you need to use five mysteries on Cortez or something like that uh, so blockade okay all right well I have like no life so let's take a death even though like I'm still at five lives which means I really haven't gotten a one up yet um, <laughs> I want life and the only way the uh, only way to get life is death oh no <laughs> Not death. Not one life. The only way out of here is death, so. But yeah, uh, along with that, uh, yeah, geez, damn spikes. Along with that, like, saying, hey, the, the streaming content will generally consist of ROM hack nights, like this night's, uh, Mario Kart nights, which, if you uh, guys aren't in the Discord server, I'll go ahead and tell you, next week I plan on having being a Mario Kart night if I can help it. Uh, where we're actually going to play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and have some fun there. Uh, and then, like, the other types of nights would be Paper Mario nights, like where I'm doing community challenges, or maybe pro mode updated, and uh, hey, let's do Luigi's Challenge now. Um, and there's one other, I forgot. And then whatever the hell else, like, for example, when Ori and Will and the Wisps comes out, I'll probably do a stream for that, because, ugh, I'm so looking forward to Ori and Will and the Wisps, for example. So, I think the biggest point I wanted to get out of that video, actually, is just to explain to people uh, that Let's Play content, at least for the foreseeable future, uh, regretfully is probably not coming back, and that's just due to uh, the economics of making Let's Play videos. Uh, I am not a guy who has a lot of free time, <laughs> so, ooh, Sonic Forces stream, maybe, maybe. I am not a guy who has a lot of free time. Uh, and the economics of streaming right now make a bit more sense than the economics of doing Let's Plays. That could change. Uh, maybe at some point I uh, reorganize my life to where I have more free time. Uh, who knows? Uh, I, I hope not because I have a decent, well-paying full-time job. 
Um, but uh, may maybe something happens, and uh, in that case, Let's Play Content may return. That that's basically the gist of what I wanted this video to be. Oh, damn it! Oh, I just did that, didn't I? Ugh! Uh, Mario Party time. Mario Party is the best when you do it with at least, like, uh, somebody else, right? <laughs> so... Uh, I do know there was that one time when the three of us, that's me, uh, Andrew's Games Display, slash Higsby, and Evil Pop-Tart did Mario Party 3. I know a little bit more about doing audio, so we could probably do a series like that again without a cruddy audio again. Uh, and it would turn out pretty good, so... Uh, but no other immediate real plans to do Mario Party. I mean, a lot of the earlier Mario Parties had, like, good single-player modes and whatnot, but... I don't know, Mario Party... it's not my party, I guess. Alright, I guess we'll expend all of our health right now. Uh, get hit by the Pokeball. <laughs> uh, there we go. We, we, we made it through the level. Oh, jeez. New definition in the tanking all of the hits. Alright, so it was sometime after this guy jumped uh, that I totally saw a mushroom platform that totally, like, messed me up. And this guy, this guy is so happy to kick me in the butt. He's just like, I'm here to kick you in the butt, and he totally did, so... Alright. We're almost back to where we totally flubbed up and fudged last time, so... Which was around here. And the thing is, like, can you, can you blame me? It looks like I have to... Uh, Run to the next mushroom platform because there's a damn spike in the way. Like, should I just take the hit from the spike? Or okay, I can. If I can, I can make it. Okay. Uh, Charged Master's favorite Mario Party. The one I played the most was two, uh, so it's hard for me to argue for anything other than two. Um, I'm about to say the Mario Parties that I play is two. I played three because I played it with Evil Pop Turn and Higsby, but I hadn't played it since. And I've played six, that's the only GameCube one I've played, and I haven't played any other, so... Damn it all. I could totally get three being argued as the best, though. I feel like three is the best Mario Party. If you and your friends know Mario Party and want to play it in a bit more of a competitive spirit, I guess? I guess I feel like it's the most fleshed out for doing that. So, because, you know, you have the three items and the board and everything, and the set of mini games in three are really good, so... It would either be three or two, really, because one has all the mini games where, like, you kill your, uh, kill your hand rotating in the thumb pad. Or not thumb pad, control stick, so... Alright, there we go, 26. I am going to go ahead and hop into Kukam for anyone who wants to join. I will, since this is what seems to do the trick, going to end process to Discord and start it again because uh, something's up with my Discord. Maybe I should actually contact the Discord and devs and be like, hey, every single time I stream, unless I restart Discord, it like gives me issues. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> it's like no one is audible. Why, why does it not pick up my audio? Probably because of my weird setup or something like that. I'd prefer not to troubleshoot like lines of CSS code that somehow makes this all work. Good evening, Bahan Bacchus. Hopefully we're doing well tonight. Alright, my Discord's not broke, right? Nope, I can hear you. Okay. Thank goodness. Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah, so New Year's, um, I'm about to say my New Year's was spent, as I mentioned earlier, fixing uh, the media on my Plex server, actually. Um, although I did, uh, have a toast and countdown, uh, to midnight, which in my case is central time, so, uh, that's about it, it was a good time. Uh, good time at home, I should say. Good evening, Yoshizawa. I am as free of killing my hand since you don't have push to talk on this. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Um, yeah. I yeah. don't even know how I set it up, but I know I set it up to where there's actually a co-com role in Discord, and I guess at some point I must have disabled the need to use push to talk, so... Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm actually glad you did. Like, no joke. The, the day after the stream, I actually forgot that I turned it to push... I'll be completely honest, I didn't even intend on really turning it off, but I guess the way I set it up, it's off, and if you guys are like, I'M FREE! I guess I'll keep it that way. <laughs> like, I don't even know what caused it, so the first time I actually got Discord, it was looking completely fine. Like, I'm not sure when it started happening, but when I go into, like, private calls then, it would, like, I could not hear them. But I could talk and they could hear me. I see. So I'm not I the only one having weirdo issues with Discord, okay. I learned like I actually thought that it started happening to me again. <laughs> but it didn't. So what'd you do for New Year's, Miles? Alright, to explain it a bit more actual detail, uh, I spent the day at home. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh jeez, that's a little bit on the loud side. Um, I, I spent the day at home. Um, the main thing that I did while at home is I fixed the media on my Plex media server, uh, and that's about it. Oh, you cut out. You just spent the day home. I heard on the stream, though. <laughs> okay. I am going to... Where is... Do, do, you were do. just kind of forever alone. Eh, I was at home with my girlfriend. We actually invited the upstairs neighbors down for some snacks and whatnot, so we had cheesy popcorn and uh, old Christmas cookies. So, so yeah, well, that's cool. I had kind of the uh, biggest fail of 2017 into 2018. So, oh boy, so I was at my I was at my uh, my friend's house, uh, who my uh, my sister's boyfriend's house. But he has brothers that are my friends, and he's my friend as well. But, uh... Go on. And right as it started getting to, like, 15 seconds, the, s the TV started cutting out and flickering. And we were just like, oh no. <laughs> and it kept, like, skipping and pausing, and it was so funny, because... Like it, you could see on the screen it said 2018, but like it kept flickering, so it was just like, what the heck? <laughs> Is it the end of the world? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. It's what? Well, for Yoshizilla, he is cutting out, and I'm not sure if he's aware about it. That Frontier Communication Internet's not doing him any favors. Oh yeah, me? Yeah. It's not. Um, yeah, so here, you know what? I'm gonna take a... So, one of my friends, you know, said, look up, you know, internet ISP in my area. Mm -hmm. And, well, um, I took a snapshot. And Frontier's worse than I thought. Let me find it real quickly. Oh boy! Oh boy! Well, you should be happier in an area that actually has an option that isn't that one Frontier communication circuit. The, the best thing to get is Xfinity, is like what I found. There you go. So, Xfinity, by the way, that's just another name for Comcast, by the way. But I would take that over Frontier. Any day. Okay, yeah, here, hold up. Okay, you ready? I'm going to, I'm going to read to you. All right, so Xfinity, it has, you know, um, or Comcast. It .9%. Fastest speed, uh, I think this is just download speed, is 200 uh, megabits per second. And pricing for 10 megabits is $29.99. Uh, so, and I think the upload you get is like around upload or something which it would be doable for me like I can stream in good bitrate uh, oh. then there's another one 
Oh, go ahead. Uh, I was about to say, 10 is really typical of a good cable pr provider, so, and that rate really sounds like an introductory rate. A uh, true rate is probably going to be, like, around $80, FYI, so... But anyway, go on. You get 100 download and 5 upload, so I was wrong, it was 5 upload. Um, okay. But I could, and then there's a 2 year promo rate before you have to pay uh, $89.99. So, I mean, still, like, you get good internet. Um, and there's another one that's, I have no idea how to pronounce this, it's like, Consolidated? Consolidated, I think? I don't know. Um, this has... It says $25 a month. You get 18 download and 18 upload, but it's like a one-year contract before you have to pay the price. But, you know, download speed's not good. Anyway, let's just jump to Frontier. Frontier. Uh -huh. uh, fastest speed is 24 megabits per second at $25. And no, this is the best part. You ready? Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Download speed, 12 megabits per second. Upload speed is blank. Upload speed is blank. <laughs> <laughs> the upload speed is blank. That's, uh -uh. that's, that's how bad Frontier is. Yeah. I, I was actually about to say, Yankee Gal, yeah, this might look like a Cuphead boss, but this is actually, I believe, the Toaster from Cave Story that's currently fighting us and shooting missiles at us and kicking my ass, so... Okay, oh, is it just me, or are you guys, like, getting the cutout as well? Uh, Yoshizilla was cutting out a little bit. Am I cutting out, too? Yeah. Yeah. You're cutting out for me. I chalk it up to lack of push oh, to talk. Oh, hi, JDS, sir. <laughs> lack hi, of push to talk? <laughs> I know I've had huge problems with voice activity on mine. Like, apparently people were just not able to hear anything I was saying when I was at the beginning of sentences, at least in my Shufflizer stream. Apparently I need to adjust my audio settings so I uh, cut out less. I apologize about that, guys. It's cool. But yeah, uh, that's how bad Frontier is. Don't get it. Oh, that's so. Cool. Hey, hey, as somebody who, like, a part of my job is yelling at internet service providers, Frontier has some of the worst internet tech support of all the major companies. And not only that, their internet service is kind of crappy. So, if you have Frontier, uh, God bless your heart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. Also, good evening, JD Aster. I think I got this pattern down. I think I can do this. From the fire, provided he doesn't game, slide into me. Ugh. You're, you're not able to like go supersonic, but then sonic forces. Mm -hmm. okay, um, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm just gonna blame Frontier because yeah, I think I've it's already. A Discord thing. It's not. It, I'm getting disconnected randomly. I disconnected by like on purpose because you got. I'm about to say, I don't see any dropped frames in Open B, Open Broadcaster, but if I'm having dropped frames yeah, issues... You're coming out me hard. Oh, jeez. Probably a uh, when, when Miles Luigi turned off push to talk, everything went downhill. <laughs> oh, no! I just unleashed the demons from hell! <laughs> That's something I need to get in contact with Evil Pop-Tart as well, is to do some more Doom content. Um... But, like, his life has been, like, in massive flux for, like, the last year and a half, uh, ever since he moved. That's a good way to put it, JD Aster. Maybe Discord's being Discord. But once again, if my stream is actually cutting out time and whatnot... Time to switch to Skype. Time to switch to Skype. I, <laughs> I don't even have Skype installed. Uh, but Skype has a web client right now that I could run instead. I could tell Discord, you were the chosen one. You weren't supposed to have issues like this. <laughs> you were supposed to, you were supposed to fight this menace, not join it. 
And, and then Discord is like, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know how I survived that. This guy is right on my tail. Ah! Damn it all! No, I went ahead. I did. I did the good thing. I went ahead and said, let, told them to last enough the cut I was hopping to the video. I am just gonna start that with a full health bar, because <laughs> if we're gonna, <laughs> we're, we're gonna have the equivalent of Rip Van Fish like chase me and me not able to get ahead of them. Yeah, I'm gonna want to be able to take those hits. I'm not sure if you heard me, but with the rings for Sonic Forces, you can only get a max of a hundred. But when you get the add-on for Super Sonic, you actually get you get as many as you want. But the add-on basically adds. You hope to have Super Sonic. Uh, you were talking about Super Sonic and something about a hundred rings? I apologize, he did cut out a little bit. Yeah. Here, so wait, Miles, this may sound dumb. Why don't you put on Push to Talk? And see I don't- I can. put on Push to Talk? Oh lordy. Oh lordy. Be right back to put on Push to Talk, everybody. <laughs> That's where we're gonna end horribly. <laughs> Oh, jeez, I see what happened. We're in the general channel, not the stream channel. That's why. I didn't even notice till now. We're moving channels. I didn't even notice. I set up a stream channel. We'll see how long it takes the guys to figure out that there's another channel and that they should be in the stream channel. I didn't even notice that till now. No, I set up the Discord service and now there's a specific channel for streams. And I suppose part of it was when I joined it, I, I just joined the channel that somebody was in and it was somebody who was in the general channel. Oh, Discord, oh fun, oh boy, oh joy. I hope that, like, general channel's not, like, cursed or something like that. That would be bad. Now, this channel should allow both the... Uh... What to say... Could allow. Let's see, what was that streaming? I might have to budge. Uh, <laughs> part of this is on me. I need to make sure that the channel's set up to allow uh, that voice permission to get in here. I see the mods permission set up. Did I not set up the COCOM on this one? God damn it, I thought I did. Why do I remember doing this? Why do I remember doing this? New channel, connect, speak. Uh, not manage channel. There. Okay. Okay, good. It works. Hi. Hello. It, hello. Okay, hopefully this works better. Um, apparently, uh, I never set the permissions on this channel. Rip. Rip? <laughs> 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 so, hopefully it works better. I don't know. Maybe the other channel is cursed. Miles Luigi's general channel is just cursed. <laughs> Wait, Miles. Would, would you be able to... 
they haven't shown that who the co-comps and the mods are? Uh, I could no, totally. Uh, are you talking about showing that on stream? No, I mean like for for the Discord. You can you can actually set up to where. Oh yeah, okay. I see mod... what you're saying. Basically, oh sorry, there we and Yoshizilla's internet just died again, uh, so I don't think he's going to be faring much better. You basically... Uh, oh no, it's happening again. Is it? For me, at least. Are you able to speak, JD Aster? You're a mod. You should have, like, nearly full permissions here. Like, what I'm talking about is, like, making it so everybody can see who's on what role and whatnot. Basically, you would set the thing to the display the numbers separately. I hear like every other word you say. Okay, Today I is... think Discord is broken. <laughs> Today is not a day for Discord, everybody. Hey, maybe it's just not a day to stream. Maybe even though we're joking, maybe it's time to open up Skype. <sighs> Gosh. Ah, Skype. I. Yeah, so Miles, what uh? I'm just gonna say you pronounce it as Beijin. I don't know though. Beijin? I don't know. Um, yeah, you go off Beijin. In Discord, you can have it set like your own roles. So if you wanted here, let me look at what your roles is. You're a. Mm -hmm. Show its own role on the side Discord. Like you see how. It only, like it only displays online. You can have it like a role set to display, if that makes sense. Okay, I, I might need somebody to, or at least some guide. Here. Okay, so if Here, you go in... Here. I've done I've done this a good couple times. If you go into the server settings and go Sorry. down to roles, and then click on that certain role. Wait, where is it? Where is it? All right, I'm currently in the COCOM role. I see there's a couple of role settings here. Is that what we're looking at? You want the very top one. Display role separately from online members. I see. Oh, yeah, you should definitely do that for mods and admins at the very least. There you go. <laughs> so, now, so now, as you can see, mods are separated. Oh, that's so nice. That's nice. I like that actually. Pop tart. I like that. And then you can do comms, which is us. Jeez, I like that a lot actually. Why didn't I have that set before? Yeah, there you go. Ta-da! Learning more about Discord today. Uh, <laughs> your lesson of the day, brought to you by the uh, Bahan and Yoshizilla. Oh gosh, that is hey, a lot what, better. Wait. I like that. Why are the mods overpowering you? Like, it goes mods and then, uh, net okay. mod. I don't know. <laughs> here's, here's what I, uh, so, the way you have that set up, you have to drag the... Okay, I heard drag the, I think it's the rolls. I want to say my roll. Yeah, my roll's not up top. So I will put my roll up top there. there now I go. am number one. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I'm... <laughs> Dang it, I'm... You this Dude... whole time. <laughs> Dude, no matter what, every server I'm in, I'm always at the freaking bottom of the roll. Because my name starts with a Y. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's, and that's crap, because why Yoshi doesn't start with a Y? It's actually just W-E. It should be way Yoshi. <laughs> Okay, all right. Well, hopefully that's enough Discord. Hey, I learned something new today, and I got my service set up better and more correctly. So I actually do appreciate that. Uh, but we'll we'll see how well it works if the uh, Discord just continues following up. I may uh, just run it solo tonight. We'll see. It kind of is. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna leave soon, anyways. Okay. If but it does, if it does continue happening. We could always just hop on into the Twitch launcher and see if that works. Twitch launcher? What's that? So, what 
Oh hey, no, you... please no. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be called the the curse launcher because it, it was Minecraft and mods based. But then Twitch took it over and it's linked with Twitch now. Is this like an alternative VoIP solution or what is it specifically? Darn it all. Like, maybe I need to ask Evil Pop Dirt because for until Discord, he ran a TeamSpeak server um, that he and his friends used. Uh, and maybe I need to be like, Evil Pop Dirt, your TeamSpeak server, do you still have it? Or maybe, you know, Miles Luigi runs his own server, so maybe he needs to run his own VoIP solution. Oh, hello, Roy. You know that, we could, we could bring Evil Pop Tart in and have him do his magic. <laughs> evil Pop Tart fixes <laughs> the voice. <laughs> evil Pop Tart fixes Discord. Oh, no, I'm gonna send him a message. Very smart with this. There we go. <laughs> There we go. And I see people in chat were talking about, what, an evolution here? Also, Luigi, you've been using the almighty hammer! Roy Koopa's flooded castle has been demolished, a magical warp appears, and Luigi bravely jumps inside. Where could this lead? Well, I mean, he jumped inside of a black hole, so just going into another warp just seems like another normal, everyday thing for Luigi. Oh gosh, did I cut out earlier? Because I know I answered that. Either you weren't in here earlier, Charge Master. Uh, but in terms of, like, having fun with it and building an audience, that definitely has to go to the Thousand Year Door Let's Play. Oh yeah, we're going into another black hole here, and it's taking us to Woodland. Yeah, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, I would say, would probably be uh, my best Let's Play. So... I like how we're going into black holes Please. and it's just taking us into another part of the world. Miles, were you talking about Paper Mario? I thought you were door second because you cut out for me. Oh, uh, jeez. Yeah, I was saying that out of all the Let's Plays that I've done, it's my best. I love your Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I need to go. I want to go watch that again next time I uh, next time I play Thousand Year Door casually. It's been a while since I played it though because I'm all caught up speed running it. I'm actually playing it right now. Oh, there you go. You gotta get your practice in. Yeah, I'm trying to go for a sub four hour time in one of the categories called All Crystal Stars. It's uh, it really sucks because you have a lot of stuff that can pretty much screw you up and you also have Mega Rush, which if you don't know this, Mega Rush is a 25% chance. Today is the and... day of not good internet. Oh, am I cutting out? Yes. You're saying Mega, Mega Rush is a 25% chance cutout. <laughs> and you need it. At like the time you get it, and you lose 22 seconds. Oh, is that in Charlieton's shop? You need to get Mega Rush. That's from Charlieton's shop, isn't it? Yep. No it badge sucks. hunting Mega Rush either, which I think is a, uh, a Hammer Bros badge drop. Y you need yeah, it sooner you than that, and you're not badge yeah, hunting. You and there's probably no badge hunting involved. The only the only thing you're hunting for in um, Thousand Year Door is an item drop for Palace Skip. But not okay. in the All Crystal Star. Not in the All Crystal Stars category, luckily. In the any percent category. Deserted Oasis? Did I read that right? Oh, damn it all! Uh, bad! Load state! Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Miles. What's up? I ended... 
Damn it, tonight is the early of the night of bad internet issues, huh? Damn it all. I'm not cutting out in the stream, am I? I suppose while I wait for people on stream to answer that, Yankee Gal is asking what Harry Potter characters, what would their evolutions be? Ugh, jeez. <laughs> that would totally depend on their typings and everything and... Yeah, stupid Discord. Ah! Oh boy, what type would Harry be? Would Harry be a Jolteon? Or would Harry be a Leafeon? Or maybe Harry would be a Sylveon? No. No, I wouldn't say. I mean, wouldn't everybody in Harry Potter just be an Espeon or Umbreon because that's light and dark? Uh, but that Harry Potter is more nuanced than that. Good Jesus, Hammer Bro. Take that extra bit of health here, and we do see a keyhole now, so now it's a matter of trying to find uh, where that key goes. Well, if this is a test, I will answer Harry is a Jolteon, and I will let people in the comments argue why I am right or wrong. <laughs> I'll be the guy who starts the discussion. Oh, jeez. Spikes. Yeah, it looks like everybody in Discord actually just straight disconnected, and I don't know if that's because they're like, okay, I've had enough of this, or uh, they're going to go reboot their modems. That is something I haven't told them to do, is to go reboot their modems, which maybe I need to go reboot my modem, too. You gotta follow that IT manifesto. Uh, did you try turning it off and on again? But it looks like we're going to be running solo for a bit. I do see JD Acers in here, but... Uh, he might be trying to be like a background character here. Sulking in the shadows. Like an Umbreon for until the time comes. Definitely a Discord problem, I think. I'm going to briefly cut to intermission just because there is a link here. Down detector slash status slash discord. And it looks like there's, oh geez, a lot of reported problems with discord. Fun times, everybody. What a night to stream. What a night to stream. That was the deserted outpost. Okay. And this is the downed ship with the Yoshi Paw symbol, which means there's a heart in this level. Oh boy. Some jazzy Mega Man music to go with it, too. Oh, jeez. I need to give you guys the game. This is a professional streaming operation. <laughs> Alright. Boop, 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 boop. Those fireballs are going right there, and I want to see what's in this block. It's an extra hit. I need that. The weird thing is I can still hear you fine on Discord. Oh, really? Am I breaking up at all for you, JD Aster, or no? Maybe I am. Can you hear me? Oh, jeez, that's a reset pipe. What am I doing? <laughs> no! I can recognize symbols. I know that symbol. That is the reset pipe symbol. What am I doing? No! I'm an idiot. Also, wow. This is a reskinned boo. Alright, so yeah, JD Aster confirms in chat. Yeah. 
So it's not just us, thankfully, though. Discord is just having issues. Uh, so we might need to have Skype on as a back for future reference. Also, wow, I am. I put myself right in a tricky situation here. Okay. I might want to keep that Chuck alive because it looks like there's some stuff he can bust over here. Oh, and that gets me the heart. Yeah, I want that. I want that. You want know what? We'll, we'll take that load state because uh, we're trying to get the hearts here. Uh, let's get there in time so I don't have to use the reset pipe. Yeah, there we go. And this is a huge line of booze or whatever the equivalent name of the Mega Man enemy is. I sadly don't know what it is off the top of my head, but that's a really clever resprite, actually. Okay. So our goal, let's duck to dodge these fireballs, and then let's uh, get this guy over here to break some blocks so we can get the heart. There we go. Over here, dude. Over here. Okay, you need to go further than that. I guess I need to aggro him. Over here, dude. Okay, over here. Over here. Ugh. Do I need to get him to run into me? I could take a hit. Okay, over here. Run into me. Run into me. Ah! Okay, I also need a fire flower. Shoot. Darn it. He can't break through the last block. Ugh. Oh, no, I need power-ups. Ugh. Well, <laughs> we'll take the death. <laughs> oh, boy, we'll take the death there. I'll have to prepare for next time, because I am not prepared to do Skype at all. As I mentioned, I don't even have Skype installed on the computer right now. Skype now has a web client, but I literally haven't, like, used it for, like, a year. Alright, can I get a Fire Flower in this level, or do I need to go to another level to get one? I think there is one here. Uh, the question then is, can I hold it? And I also can't take a hit if I need to use the Fire Flower, so... We'll have to be careful with it. We'll hit save state here again, so. so. I apologize about the technical difficulties tonight. They are outside the grasp of my control, but next time I'll try to be a bit more prepared. Have the Skype backup. Or once again, I could I could ask Evil Pop-Tart. For the longest time, Evil Pop-Tart ran a TeamSpeak server. And while I haven't used TeamSpeak in a long time, um, and I know like TeamSpeak is oh damn it all. TeamSpeak is like something that where if you want to run a server, you like have to pay for it, but I should look into it. Maybe I could actually just run TeamSpeak on my home server here, and then everybody's voice funnels through my home server. And provided I don't kill my internet, uh, that should work. That, that's probably one of the biggest things with voice services, so. Ha! <laughs> Discord, reboot all your servers right now, all simultaneously. Oh, man. But I've never really looked into that because I've never really needed to look into voice services. At least gaming voice services. This is why Discord like blew up so much. Oh damn it all! It is because like uh, if you're a gamer and you just need gamer voice and you, you didn't want to use the voice services in your game, <laughs> looking at you Splatoon. At least the original Splatoon on the Wii U. I remember there was a big deal about having like no voice when there is a voice peripheral for the Wii U and now it just literally doesn't work with any game. Uh, but point being is if you want voice and your game doesn't support it, well, like, what are you gonna do? Well, back in the day, uh, like, there was TeamSpeak, there were a couple other systems out there, and then there was Skype as well, uh, but all of them had their pros and cons, and then Discord came, and Discord literally advertises itself as the solution for gamers and voice, and, like, everybody rejoiced, and then, uh, well, tonight, uh, everybody, uh, cried. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, that should be good. We'll duck here to dodge the fireball, and... Oh, damn it all, I need the fire flower. I mean, we could use actual, the plain old telephone system. <laughs> now, you might be wondering why this isn't really an issue for companies, and that's because companies actually, like, get voice vendors. Like, my company is totally a Cisco shop, so, like, we have Cisco Voice. Uh, which So we have their Cisco Voice solution that just takes care of all of our voice issues for us. Uh, both calling people telephony and also all the voice over IP stuff all taken care of through Cisco, and it probably costs, like, way too damn much. I don't take care of the, like, Licensing for my company, and I don't want to know how much it costs. It costs probably way more than I would ever pay for it, but it works, and that's what's important for the company. So, but gamers don't have that.
that luxury. Gamers are not corporations. Maybe sometime in the future. Maybe sometime we'll see when gamers become corporations. Because, I mean, right now, corporations are people. So how long until gamers are corporations and therefore gamers are people? Oh, jeez. Did I really just say that? <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, that's Cisco for ya. It kills you on the licensing. The only thing is their products is still always remain the best. That's why they're the number one vendor. All right, you want a good solution? Guess what? Cisco, it works. It works, That that's why they're number one. Okay, I gotta kill this piranha plant. There we go. That should make things way easier. All right, charge and chuck this way. Oh, one more block, come on, guy. Oh, man. All right, back this way, dude. All right, this way, jump over. There you go. Oh, geez, bullet bill. All right, you can die now, because I should be able to grab the rest of these blocks in the way and then kill these blocks, and there we go. We got our heart, finally. I think we filled that. that if that's not a full line of hearts, then something weird is going to happen with the heart display. But I think we got our first full line, and I just lost my first hit right away. Thanks, Potobo. As we have now entered into the fiery ship. Why hasn't this ship caught on fire? It's made of wood. It's right next to lava. And it's surrounded by so much damn fire. This must be some damn well petrified wood here to not catch on fire. Jesus, oh my gosh. This whole thing should be set ablaze right now. Oh boy. That's no good. How do I even make this jump? Oh my gosh. Okay. Really carefully. I the especially since it's right below before a midway point. Toughest jump right before the midway point. Come on. Maybe the sharks got to the Discord tube. Now you're making me just imagine Anji Pai with like a pair of shears looking at the cable that says Discord. Like this really stupid face being like, ha ha ha, I can cut this cable now. And then he cuts the cable, and then everybody loses Discord. Damn you, Anji Pai! Oh, but even though you joke about that, you can get all Discord being attacked by penguins. I mean, maybe they're getting DDoSed, and chances are if they're getting DDoSed, they're actually getting DDoSed by uh, Linux slash Unix BSD systems, which then, ironically, yes, they would be being attacked by penguins, so... I'm back! Welcome back! <laughs> Hopefully things go a little bit better and Discord stops fudging up for us, that would be nice. Because I do not have a backup in place at this time. I hate when the when the power flickers and your whole entire fear turns off. I take it you rebooted your modem. No, the whole like the power flickered. I sadly think there's Discord issues right now. Damn it all! Maybe Bowser's like, no, I do not want you to finish this. <laughs> Tonight is not my night. Oh, man, 2018 did not start on a strong foot. It started on the weak foot. Yeah. Alright, there we go. As I was saying before... I hope the whole PC went down. Um, I ended up going into playing um, Ori in the Blind Forest some. Nice. Excellent game. I, I done 14%. I was like, you know what? I might as well do a blind let's play of this. Okay. So, other than the 14% that I've done, the rest of it's going to be completely blind. Okay. Let's go ahead and tackle on the flame temple here. More fire, everybody! And then I think we'll try to move on to Mario 74. I see this is what happens when Fireman decides to make a, uh, a Mario stage. Jeez, all the Mets are just falling up on my head. 
And this ROM hack is definitely taking a Mega Man influence as of late, so... Hey, at least you won't have to deal with the blue coins in this. <laughs> well, you just wait. I'm going to have to deal with disappearing platforms soon. Matter of fact, this is looking suspiciously like disappearing platform territory. Well, I guess not quite yet. You know, I actually should have done that in the order that would have gotten me more hits. Hitting the block to release the mushroom, hitting the midway point, and then hitting the mushroom. Hey, good evening, Cappy. Uh, we have learned that Discord is having major issues tonight. Uh, and it's unfortunate because I don't have Skype installed, and I don't feel like messing around with that right now. But apparently it's not just me. Hopefully you're doing well. I saw you were streaming just before I got started. Some thousand your door. So whatever you were doing, I hope you were doing it well. Before the stream tonight, I did catch your video of you totally crushing uh, Macho Grubba with Miss Mouse, which was partially Macho Grubba's fault, so. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Oh, oh that quest I, can kill ya. I certainly hope you're. Your New Year's resolution was for Discord to break. I really hope it wasn't that. Uh, no, that was not my New Year's resolution, <laughs> so. Uh, in any case, uh, we're gonna go on break, and when we come back, we're gonna switch up ROM Max to Mario 74, everybody. So now's the time to go get a drink, uh, maybe curse at Discord, and, uh, we'll be back in a bit, everybody.